I dropped a small chunk of sodium in a test tube and it obviously does the same thing. It produces a hydrogen. Heat is building and building and building. And when it gets ready for the explosion, it is channeled up through to the mouth of the test tube where you can see a shock front, an actual shock front and an ignited hydrogen and sodium fireball there. And you can see the chunks of sodium are molten and flying out and you can actually see the smoke in the same process there. Now this is just too cool not to look at again up close. Look at the boundary between the flame and the material shooting out along each of the trajectories. Bits of molten sodium flying through the air in the associated smoke trails behind them. Here, take a look at the sodium right behind the clamp. It's bubbling and boiling away. And I'm panning the camera up because in just a second, it's going to explode and you're gonna see a lot more molten sodium than in the last time. You can see the chunks flying out and then the ignition happens. And if you look carefully, all of that, some of it is water, but some of it is molten sodium flying out of the test tube. Now look at this piece near the end. I wanted to do a wide shot so you could see this process happening here. You can see the fragments coming out, the ignition happen, all of the smoke trails there and the molten sodium flying out the end and the orange color fading to the background. But you can still see those glowing chunks of sodium. Let's finish this shot with a close up of the end where you can see all of the molten chunks come out, the ignition, the uh, glowing molten sodium flying, and you can actually see tumbling chunks of molten metal kind of glistening as they rotate. So here's my last test tube shot, and you can really see a clear display of the chaos there at the bottom of the test tube with the sodium that's molten just bubbling and rolling around. And when the explosion actually happens, it takes a fraction of a second. It's actually called a Coulomb explosion. And it's something actually I learned a lot about when doing these things. And when we get to the lecture, I'll explain exactly why the Coulomb explosion happens. But basically the word Coulomb comes from electrostatics. It's because of positive charges repelling and so when this thing decides to go it goes very very fast and very very forcefully learn anything at mathandscience.com